je vais prendre ça. Bon, je retiens. Ok, hi guys. Uh, I am Jean-Marc Lazare. I am the founder of uh, Open Data Soft. And uh, here's my team. This is a young company founded uh, two years ago. And we've developed and uh, proposed the Turnkey platform to easily uh, collect, share, and uh, reuse data, and mainly in, uh, in an open data landscape. So first, uh, I'm going to, to talk about uh, cities, open cities. But we, we, we heard a lot uh, nowadays about smart cities. Hi, guys, about IBM. Uh, and this is uh, the way those persons are drawing the cities. Well. Uh, Nice cities, uh, where efficiency is the main concern about, uh, about the people we, who are managing it. Uh, but most of these people try to sell, to sell you that. Very complex IT, try, try to sell databases, uh, business process management uh, stuff, and, and so on. And we believe at Open Datasoft that there could be another point of view uh, over the cities. This is about open cities, merging open data, APIs, nice user experience, and where all the people, uh, people will share the same device, the city is a device, uh, we share the same data, could co-design what uh, we are expecting as a service. Smart service for making citizens smarter, uh, more able to better uh, move, coming f going from, uh, from, the, from the house to, to, the, to the office uh, and coming back. So this device uh, is a huge landscape where the data now can be crossed uh, with a very good lever, which is open data. But to achieve uh, and to fulfill that promise, uh, all persons involved in that movement have to cooperate, meaning uh, citizens, uh, local governments, but also companies which are operating the services in transportation, utilities, and so on. So let me tell you a story first. So meet Bruce. Let's say that Bruce is a new product manager at a utility or a transportation company. And Bruce, despite his smiling face, is an unhappy man. Why? Because he's challenged by the market, by his customers, to deliver uh, very quickly, with great agility, with a cost-effective way, uh, new services, mobile ones to better control uh, water, water consumption, and so on. And to do that, Bruce knows that it's quite easy to, to collect data coming from street lighting, waste, con uh, waste management, uh, water consumption, uh, weather forecast, and all this, tema uh, all this data coming from various sources, mobile applications, uh, very complex uh, geographical information, open data, of course, smart meters. And uh, because our sense of open data movements, uh, all this data begins to, to come out of there on the web. Because he knows that the true value of this data through the service which will be developed upon, upon uh, is out there on the web, where his data, uh, his own data from his company, uh, will be uh, valued through visualization, which will be shared with, uh, with his own brand uh, through social networks, web pages, but also through APIs which will uh, allow him to reach uh, new, new, out, uh, new outlets, new market outlets, to reach a great uh, community of innovators uh, and to control how this API and data is used. But Bruce has a problem. How to do that? Uh, uh, as simple as uh, playing with bricks, with Lego. Of course, a lot of people, mainly IT departments, tell, OK, we, we now have great technologies new generation of ETL, BI, big data, search, okay, great. But Bruce knows that it will take a lot of time. He will have to, to have IT department on board, to pay days of consulting. Well, at least he will have no chance to get a return on investment uh, by investing in that, in, that, in that process. So because we met a lot of people like Bruce, and I will tell, tell you more about them after, we founded Open Data Soft to make us easy on one to three to turn any kind of data from internal or external sources into business, meaning making them available through secured and controlled and rich APIs. So our platform, and this is the commercial slide, is a, is a turnkey platform for data collection, sharing, and reusing, which is API-centric uh, and apps-oriented. Everything we, we can do through our platform is controlled and managed through API. So, 
more than words, just have a look at your demo. This is a video one. To show you how very, how very simple it is to publish and turn any kind of data into API. So let's take the sources which, which is available on a federal uh, server, a federal agency server in the US, which is providing, which is a NARCGIS, uh, uh, GIS server, uh, providing tracks about hurricanes. So I just copy paste the link uh, of the web service. Uh, I can add metadata and curate the data very easily, just like uh, I would be in a, in a spreadsheet uh, software. And in two clicks, uh, I, the platform easily transforms this data in visualization. And you can see the embed code, which allow any kind of person with no technical, okay, the only technical uh, competency you, you will have to, you will, we will need is to copy paste the link, an embed link like you do every day with YouTube or Dailymotion and to embed it on your blog. So everything you can see is based on our API, which are very, very rich uh, geo, geo local, localized uh, uh, data API. Uh, API. And, Oh, sorry, there are music. And the API uh, tab is to, to easily plug any kind of uh, application upon this data. This is a very, very simple use case. But believe me, uh, after using this kind of uh, solution, Bruce is not a happy man. Why? Because he has no connection with the usual process uh, and investment needed by and required by the IT persons. Uh, he has the ability to transform and to turn any kind of data through API and, just, and, and then to, to transform them into cool application and to reach the real uh, ecosystem of innov innovators, which could be internal or external of his company. But you, are, you may I wonder if, uh, if Bruce really exists. No, not really, but on this slide you can see that many kind of, uh, of companies, uh, which are actually our customers, uh, in the utilities, uh, uh, in the news information, dealing the, about information about the territories, about transportation, and local governments are using the same kind of tools uh, for sharing the data. This is not an utopia. All these kind of person are, are sharing the same platforms to connect to themselves, to connect the data, and try to build new, uh, new services based on the data they can share upon the platform. So it actually works uh, in the Paris region, and it should work, of course, uh, everywhere else. So, let me show you uh, a sample of API-based apps which have been developed exactly uh, in, that, uh, in that way, meaning using open data uh, or shared data about, uh, about, uh, upon our platform through APIs. Of course, this kind of approach can drive you very easily in a day's time frame uh, to launch, uh, to launch uh, open data portals. This is the Paris region open data portals, which have been launched between the decision to launch it and the real launch of this portal in three weeks. Uh, just by clicking and loading the files, all transformed into APIs for the portal. Uh, it could also be very useful to, to be more efficient, to, to, to improve oh, sorry, the, info, the existing information uh, online services like the website or mobile application. This is a, an example of the Alpes d'Or Provence in the southeast of France, which has first designed and, uh, and put online an open data site with uh, all the data available through APIs, and which has now plugged all the services, meaning the plots in the, in the tourism offices, uh, websites, applications, directly plugged on the, on the APIs. And now, when the data is uh, fit in the, through a form uh, at a desk uh, in the tourism offices, it is directly available and up-to-date on the, on the application. So the API is the a, is a core of the system now. Data and API is the core of the system and with a very agile information system now. Of course, we can do very, uh, a bit more complex things like da data discovery, uh, dealing with shapes, urban monitoring, with a very high-end uh, geo-clustering API based on search API. Uh, we mainly use uh, Elasticsearch technology to, to do that with, uh, with a lot of development we, we've done about, upon them. Uh, very advanced rule-based urban assistance. This is a result of a hackathon uh, in Paris region last year. Uh, helping professionals to, to handle what are the urban rules uh, which manage the, we, to control if you have the right or if it, it would be a, a good idea to, to put your, your factory in that place or that place uh, because you, you have the right or, or not. Uh, 
some companies like Veolia are using exactly the same approach to share the data upon this kind of platform, sorry, uh, we, we, meaning that they now have a, a kind of data lab where they can push their own data coming from the smart meters. Uh, so all smart metering data are are uh, pushed on the on the platform, and they are crossed, uh, and uh, they are crossed uh, with uh, uh, and aggregated with open data, weather forecasts, weather historicals, and then they can imagine every kind of application by accessing all these data through one single point, but very high end uh, uh, in terms of features uh, to 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 design their own application for the operators who are managing the territories, but also to provide to their customers very high end application which is a bit more better than uh, providing them only with PDF file to say, okay, uh, during the six last months, uh, the consumption or the quality of water has evolved, and so now pay the, the bill at, at the end of the month. So, uh, of course, we have some experimentation about the crowd fixing, meaning one, once you can, uh, you can expose the data uh, through smart application, very dynamic ones, uh, which are plugged on the API. You can propose the people, and mostly the citizens, to help you to crowd fix uh, the information. Uh, but uh, I believe uh, that, uh, I think that there is a presentation by OpenStreetMap just after me, so they will speak about it uh, a, a bit better than me. And uh, at the end, just as a conclusion, I would say that, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, a kind of, uh, of new vision about, uh, about cities and smart cities is maybe more to consider the cities like a shared space, uh, which, is, uh, which, which it is actually. Uh, so thinking in terms of uh, open cities with lo local governments uh, actually highly involved into that, uh, that project and making able to all the, that all the person involved in, uh, in providing smarter services to, to share the data. Uh, when the data is coming from the local governments, it is, uh, it is uh, usual to say that no, it's free and uh, available with no restriction. When the data is coming from private operators, we can imagine that it is also available, maybe through, uh, in terms of service, uh, paying access, but all the data has to be easily aggregated if we will want to imagine a better city to live uh, and to where to move and to, and, and to, to, to see the children grow. So it is a a kind of vision a bit different from the first slide, uh, which is one of my colleagues. Uh, but this is the one we, we try to, to, to support at Open Datasoft by developing new kind of solution, new urban platform uh, for sharing the data. And just, uh, there, there will be a panel after, but uh, most important, during this weekend, there is an, an initiative uh, organized and supported also by the, the, the API days, which is called for Paris region, which is a, uh, a kind of, uh, of, uh, of hackathon, just like code from America, where most, a lot of people, developer hackers, will try to imagine, to design, and to develop some new services for, for, Pari for people living, uh, having business trips, uh, making tourism in Paris. Uh, uh, and we obviously be part of this hackathon because uh, most of the data of, the, of Paris and the Paris region are also from uh, uh, Transilien, which is the French operator for the transportation in Paris, have been transformed through API into API with our platform. So we will be one of the partners of this, uh, of this event. So uh, I hope uh, you will be a lot of uh, you will be a, uh, a, a lot of this of this uh, of this room to, to be at this at this event. And uh, I can, of course, uh, answer your question about our platform and uh, example of uh, smart application developed about uh, open cities platforms. Thank you.